algebraically determine the roots in simplest a plus bi form to the equation below. And the second half of the problem, consider the system of equations below. y equal to x squared minus 2x plus 7 and y equal to 4x minus 10. The graph of the system confirms the solution from part A is imaginary. Explain why. So I'm going to start by solving part A first. So we have a, an equation here, x squared minus 2x plus 7 is equal to 4x minus 10. So to solve this equation, being the left-hand side is a quadratic, which makes this entire equation quadratic, we're going to bring all the terms over to one side and set it equal to zero and see whether or not this thing is factorable, but it actually is not because it says to uh, solve for the roots in a plus bi form. So I'm just going to bring everything over to one side. So I have minus 6x and plus 17. So because this thing is not factorable, we're going to use the quadratic formula and the quadratic formula says this we have negative b so it's going to be positive 6 then plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac so 6 squared so that's 36 minus 4ac so minus 4 times 17 let me shorten the fraction bar there all over 2a so it's just 2 and to simplify this further, we end up with 6 plus or minus square root of, whoops, let me write this a little further down. So 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus uh, 68, all over 2. And that turns into negative 32. So this is 6 plus or minus radical negative 32, all over 2. And then this can be further reduced because 32, uh, the, the largest perfect square that divides evenly into 32 is 16. So 32, square root of 32 becomes 4 square root of 2. And because there's a negative inside of the square root, we're gonna call we're gonna pull that out and make it i, and then all over 2. So therefore, when we simplify this all the way down, then the final step, we have 3 plus or minus 2 radical 2i as the final answer. So that's part A. Uh, and then part B says to consider the system equation and, uh, and that the graph of the system confirms that the solution from part A is imaginary. Explain why. So uh, I will... Uh, graph out or at least sketch out where uh, this is so 4x minus 10 so that means we're coming from below and we're shooting up like that so this is going to be 0 comma negative 10 and over here this will be uh, 5 halves so 5 halves comma 2 comma 0 and then the x squared minus 2x plus 7. So where will that be? So I have x squared minus 2x plus 7. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this in vertex form. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the square by adding 1. And if I add 1, uh, I have to also subtract 1. So the equation then becomes y is equal to x minus 1 quantity squared plus 6, right? So the uh, parabola uh, is located at 1 comma 6, which is going to be right here. And the parabola has a y-intercept of 7, so this is... 1 comma 6 has a y-intercept of 7 so it looks something like this and then it just shoots off forever and going in that direction there so the graph of this just as a sketch of this the graph will never intersect these two graphs will never intersect the parabola and line 
never intersect. This explains why their solution is imaginary. Okay.